Hi, my name is Kiana and today I'm going to teach you basic blood spatter trigonometry. Food fight, yells your brother. Across the room sails a spoonful of cranberry sauce. It soars past you and lands directly on your mom's new white carpet. Your mom walks in and blames you. You are grounded for a week and can't go to your friend's birthday party. But what can you do? She won't believe that your brother threw the sauce. Suddenly, you have an idea. You can prove your innocence through a few basic trigonometry steps that are commonly used at crime scenes by forensic investigators. There are three things you will need to find to prove your innocence. First, the angle at which the cranberry sauce landed on the carpet. Second, the area from which the sauce originated. And third, the height at which the sauce was thrown. First, in order to find the angle of impact, we will use the equation sine of a equals width divided by length. Width and length refer to the dimensions of the ellipse, or the shape a liquid makes when it falls to earth. In this case, the liquid is cranberry sauce and the dimensions are 2 millimeters by 5 millimeters. Substitute those dimensions into the equation. 2 divided by 5 is 0.4. Sine of a equals 0.4. Now, take the inverse sine of both sides in order to isolate the variable a. You are now left with a equals inverse sine of 0.4. The inverse sine of 0.4 is 23.58. Therefore, 23.58 degrees is the angle at which the cranberry sauce hit the ground. Good job. Second, to find the area of origin, we will use three of the ellipses created by the cranberry sauce. Each ellipse has something called a tail. It's that thin, almost arrow looking part. That arrow points in the direction that the ellipse was headed towards. Using a ruler, draw a line directly down the middle of each ellipse in the direction that the ellipse was coming from. The point where all the lines intersect is called the area of origin. As you can see, the area of origin is directly in front of your brother. You show this to your mom, but she needs a little more convincing. On to step three. In this step, we will find the height from which the cranberry sauce fell. You are six feet tall and your brother is four feet tall. We will use the equation tangent of A equals H divided by D. We know that angle A is 23.58, so the tangent of 23.58 is 0.436. 0.436 equals h over d. We know that d is the distance between the lips and your area of origin. You measure and find that the distance is 10 feet. h over 10 equals 0.436. Now multiply each side by 10 in order to isolate the variable h. h equals 4.36 feet. You show this to your mom and she's convinced that your brother threw the sauce. Now you're ungrounded and can go to your friend's birthday party. Good job! What I have shown you is called straight line trajectory. It gives a rough calculation of the height from which a liquid fell. For more advanced blood spatter analysis, equations incorporate other factors from physics to get an exact calculation. I hope you learned a little something about forensics today and thank you for watching my video.